Hello and welcome. My name is Chultron. This is Game Dev Tycoon once again. In this episode, I'm, go I'm going to be covering the engine mechanics and how they affect the quality of your games. So I've just skipped ahead here if you're watching my previous video. This may look a little bit different. I am in the second office now. Going to create a custom engine, not going to create it, I already have one created. Just to show you here, these are all the engine mechanics I currently have. So there's a few here. And we will go straight into developing a game to show you how they affect it. And I can give you a good examples here. Okay, pick topic, we'll just make an airplane simulator for this. Generic name once again on the PC and pick our engine. Okay, since I do have 100,000 fans, well, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to cover that in the next episode. Okay, just start development here. Alrighty, now as you can see, all my engine mechanics are highlighted, the ones that I want, and they all have a price next to them. Now this price contributes to the quality of the game. So let's say instead of simple cutscenes, I want to do a linear story. Or, see, you can do simple cutscenes or linear story, and they will each give you 10k to stories and quests, and that contributes to your game quality. Now in this game, it doesn't matter what this is called at all. It does not matter whatsoever, as long as this type of game requires some of it. Like for instance, Simulator does not require stories and quests, so we're going to turn that down. We'll even turn off simple cutscenes. We can have a linear storyline, like maybe some a few missions you go fly around on, something like that. So we can leave that in there, so there's just a little bit put into that. It gives it some good quality, higher quality, because you spent more time into it. However, if we put more into it, simple cutscenes, you'll notice this goes to 75%. Now you don't want that, because that means they don't have enough time in the time allocation here. They don't have enough time to completely do it, so it's going to be very unfinished when it releases and you won't get as high as scores as you could have otherwise. So make sure you don't have any percentages on these. You want to always make sure they're at the highest. Okay, we're going to turn on mouse just to get more money in there, even though joystick, gamepad, see all that, it doesn't matter what it is, it just simply matters because I'm putting that money into this mechanic. So it's going to add to that mechanic. Okay, engine, gameplay, we'll keep those up. Go to the next phase here. That's pretty much about sums it up, but I'll go ahead and just finish up this game here. It's real simple, as long as you make sure that you don't, see, make sure you do not have any percentages in there, 100%. And then once you get on to later games and you have a whole lot more, like double the mechanics I have here, then you really have to start picking and choosing and figuring out the ones you want. And remember, like I said, it does not matter what it is as long as the price is what matters. Okay, so we're going to turn down the dialogues on this. And as you can see, it's taking that down to 69%. So we are going to take off the dialogue tree and we will leave better dialogues in there. We'll go to phase three. And once you get a lot of mechanics, you're really kind of picking and choosing, deciding like per game, you know, which genre it is and trying to decide from there. And some of these, as you can see, you cannot pick multiple ones. It would be pointless. There's no reason to have mono sound and stereo sound. Okay, and we will keep world design about 40%. Keep it right about there. Graphics up and we'll put the sound up too. I want to hear the beautiful sounds of our airplanes. Get a little bit of hype. This is what happens. When you're up here, 100,000 fans, you get a little bit of hype every game you make. Okay, we're going to finish out the bugs and see how we did for this example game. Is it another bug? Iron it out. Oops, finish. And it was a great combo. The thing is, I've done this game type so many times. It and medium booth, you don't really have to do this. Um, oh man, this would have been good for marketing. Oh well, we'll cover that next time. Next episode is going to be marketing, so I'm not going to do that right now. Take care of marketing next time. Okay, first reviews came in. 
There's also some tens. I mean, it's going to be higher than a four at least. All right, so it's scoring sevens, which isn't too bad. That means it did score about average to my set game quality that I've been achieving. So there you are. That is the engine mechanics. Real simple. Just pretty much remember to never have percentages on the side. You don't want to see a percentage. You want to have it at 100%. You want to make sure they are fully completing that topic of the engine. And that's about it. You don't really need to focus on... You could throw a mouse on a console instead of a gamepad and it will not affect your score whatsoever. The cost is the same. The same amount of money is being put into that game so there you have it all right thanks for watching my name is joel tron and this has been game dev tycoon episode two of the beginner guides i'll see you next time